hi y'all what's up i'm back again with another video it has been a while i know but um your girl needed to recharge a little bit and um you know just relax y'all know the drill if i'm looking downwards okay i don't need to explain myself again but um since i really like literally just came home and i just really wanted to like make a video when you know wearing something else i was like okay, let me just let me just go with the flow so obviously this is my church outfit i wear with like some brown like quite light brown pants and it was really a cute fit mind you the heel of my uh my boots broke but it's fine we let the rest of god honest we, we leave the rest of god i want i want to even complain too much because at the end of the day i might still not wear something on my feet thank you thank you so yeah let's move either way um first and foremost i hope you guys had a wonderful week um that you guys had peace had fun and uh you know had a productive week and even if this week did not necessarily go the way that you wanted it to just know that there's still another week to come so be intentional about it see where it went a little bit wrong a little bit shaky and do better and obviously it's easier said than done but the most important thing is the effort that you put into it so let's get into it <laughs> oh my days okay let's move okay don't force what is in the past be grateful for what has already occurred and move on to greater things see guys i don't even know what more to add than what has already been said right now because what's in the past is in the past you cannot bring it back you cannot change it the only thing you can do is learn from it and apply the changes as the lessons as the wisdom you've gained from it into your uh, present as well as your future. You know, you can reflect on your past and be like, okay, I did this, I do not longer want to do that, and I wanna be a better person, I wanna be a better version of myself, so I'm not gonna do that and do this instead. Instead of lingering in the past and being like, you know, I did this, I did that, I have so many regrets, but are you going to continue living reg you know, regretful as well in your present and in your you know, future? I mean, it's kind of a sad way of living if you're just gonna have that attitude towards the rest of your life when honestly your past does not necessarily need to define your present as your future it can definitely like teach you stuff but it's up to you to see if you're gonna allow it to define you or allow it to instead teach you stuff so that you can move on to greater things that's why there's a um, scripture in the bible that tells you that you know you should not like dwell on the past you know you should move on as christ has forgiven you and stuff like that and as you just honestly come to the lord past is in the past so leave it where it is the past focus on the present and continue walking towards your future with you know a, a you know bright mindset with the word of god and the truth which is that as it's in the past you can move on to greater things and god is with you he has forgiven you of it as as far as god is concerned it's in the past so why are you still lingering on that next point is doing something is better than nothing i feel like Personally, this whole week has consisted of me just um, sometimes feeling like I was not really doing enough. Or I think it was the week before or this week. I don't know. But sometimes I feel like oh, I can be doing more. And whether that be academically, spiritually, physically, mentally, whatever, sometimes I just feel that way in general. And I'm like, honestly, I'm doing this, but I could have been doing this. I could have been doing that. Like, if I had done this, I would have been able to do that. Like, for example, if I had woken up earlier, I would have been able to do that thing, which I was not able to do because I woke up later or something like that. But I had to come to the realization that, look, putting in some sort of effort is going to help you to set a bit of momentum for the next day so that you have something to work with. You know, understand what I mean? For example, let's say you have the goal of working out every week and I don't know, that one day it was just not your day. You were not feeling it. So you did not get as many exercises in as you would have wished. But at least you got like one or two exercises in and that might not feel like a lot but that's something and the next day you'll be able to like build some momentum like okay you did that these are some other things that you can do i hope you understand what i'm trying to say from this example do you understand what i mean or another example is um when it comes to studying for example it could be that honestly um so throughout the like academical um semester this one day you literally just spent like what three hours studying and that was it because other than that you just you couldn't find you know the focus the discipline to do what you needed to do but isn't that something at least you were able to go through something and then the next day you continue from where you left off because if you keep putting it back words and um i mean like keeping it in the back you know procrastinating and be like you know what, i'm gonna do that later because I mean, I'm not doing anything anyways. Before you know, you're going to start procrastinating and not doing anything at all and not making progress and just sitting there stuck in a rut, in a mud. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know if 
I said it in a different language, in a rut. I don't know. It's like you're stuck in mud. Let's go with that. Do you understand what I mean? What I'm just trying to say is that, guys, guys, let's keep in mind that look, if you study one hour, for example, for all my students out there, and I'm not talking about examination period because that's, um, I don't know, to each their own. We're not trying to do that during examination periods, but throughout the school year, when you know you're summarizing everything, studying, trying to get everything in your head, if that one day you just happen to only like get through 10 pages or happen to only be able to get two hours of studying done, that is something, okay? That is something. Before kids start walking, aren't they crawling and falling and standing up and falling down? But that still builds a momentum for when they eventually start walking. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to today. Okay, the last point is to just trust God through everything. Um, <laughs> as much as I trust God and I love God, it's still a prayer point that I always pray about. I'm always like, God, please help me to continuously trust you. Because you could be the most strongest Christian and then that one like event pops up and then you just somehow lose all your trust in him. Or your trust gets like like kind of like tampered with and you find yourself in a kind of shaky position so that's why i always pray that prayer like god help me to continuously trust in you and this week i've really just been like honestly god even when i don't see anything happening even when it feels like nothing is happening i'm gonna have faith in you because i know with you i can do all things and i know you have good plans for me so even if things might seem a little bit unclear even when i seem to not really know where i'm going you're the one who guides me through the darkness. You're the one who's my lamp that shines on, you know, the road before my feet so that I can see where I'm going. And even when I can't see what's at the end, I know that you're going to bring me to the right place. So that was really like what I had going through my mind this week. Like, you know what, regardless of whatever's going on, even when, like when it was something that was unexpected, even when it was something where I was like, what's going on? I just so trusted God and I just saw him coming through every second like every time again and again and again so yeah guys yes and then i think i've said this one before but i'm gonna say it again maybe um maintain a positive attitude honestly i i feel like that should be a philosophical insight a ph philosophical view at this point a philosophical perspective maintain a positive attitude like y'all the amount of stuff that i've seen in my 19 years of being on this earth it's only my positive attitude that the Lord has granted me by his grace, thank you Jesus, that has gotten me through most of it. Like even when things were like going left, I was going shing, shing, going south, west, east, north. Hey, your girl was still remaining positive and as I should in this whole period. <laughs> Glory be to the most high. Like I would be going through some stuff, I'm like crap, how am I supposed to deal with this? And somehow I would still like just be happy, just really just, maintain that positive attitude so i do think that's a very important thing for everyone even if you're not generally a very bubbly person i do think that you can still maintain a, a positive attitude even if you're very quiet or wherever the case might be so yeah that's really it i wanted to keep it as brief as i could for today i wanted to keep it short and sweet you know yeah and i also just wanted to like put up a video because i promised myself that the weekly reflection segment is what's going to be coming up even if i don't feel like it we're gonna make a way Cause he will make a way, yes, when there seems to be no way. Let's go! He works in ways we cannot see. He will make a way for us. Hey, he will be our guide. Hold us closely to his side. Um, he will make a way. He will make a way. Come on, I give you guys a cappella. Christian Bergeron, come on at this point. I'm at this point. I'll do it together. I'll do it together. Either way, um, I'm kind of tired. I feel like snacking a little bit. And I'm uh, just really relaxing because this week has been, uh, yeah, it's been an active week to say the least. Honest. And um, trying to prepare for the weekly vlog coming up because it's been a little while. It's been a second. Just trying to film some content, trying to live life according to God's will, God's plan, obviously. Just trying to uh, make the most of this life that the Lord has granted me. Um, FYI, the topic today at church was the useful church. And one thing I took from it was just that it's very important to realize at the end of the day, it's not about us, it's about God. Like, we're just trying to make sure that His will, you know, 
comes to fulfillment on this earth. That's the most important thing. And there was something that um, um, the pastor mentioned too. He just said that, look, it's better that everyone else every other human is displeased and god is pleased than the other way around and i was really like honestly word that really makes a lot of sense and obviously for the people out there as christians don't get me wrong it's not like it's gonna be easy but i do feel like it brings some sort of comfort and just helps you to realize that look as long as god is good with me as long as god is happy that's the most important thing i'm not saying that you should go and be going out there and be doing nonsense stuff there please that one nobody told you to go and do that that's on you i'm just saying that when it's honestly god led yeah that's that's a whole other story always make god happy god is the first priority seek the kingdom and everything else will follow okay guys should be your main priority hallelujah so um Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful, blessed week ahead of you. Make sure to sleep properly, guys. For those of you that be sleeping your two hours, I beg, try and sleep at least six hours. Let's, let, let's make a deal. Let's make a compromise. At least six hours, okay? Um, for all my Christians out there, guys, read the word. Let this be a reminder to at least open up your Bible. Even if it's the Bible app, please. Something is better than nothing. Am I right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Open up your Bible and um, read at least one verse, guys. Speak to the Lord and um, don't treat it as something that's like, I don't know, a task. Because it isn't. It's it's a part of your relationship with God. So don't just only say it as something that you have to do, that you must do. See it as something that you have the privilege of doing. So yeah, either way, have a wonderful week. Be productive and remember to stay positive. God bless you. Bye. Thank you.